Hello, this is Vinny Rose, and you're watching the first video for theflowage.com. That's me, the flowage. Uh, hopefully, you don't think of uh, a toilet and you think of the flowage as some of my other friends do, but hey, it's the name that I got that uh, I feel the Lord gave me. Uh, or perhaps it was just a, uh, a bad dream that I had one night about a toilet. I don't really know. Anyways, um, this is uh, from my house here in Moundsview, Minnesota, and I thought I'd tell you a little bit about uh, what the flowage is and why I put it together. Uh, back in 2006, I was in Bible school in Colorado, uh, Colorado Springs, at Karis Bible College, and we had just finished up with a missions trip to Columbia, uh, South America. And there's just some things on that mission trip that didn't feel right. It felt... Uh, I don't know, I can't really explain it, but things just didn't sit right. Um, maybe the idea of going into a foreign country and kind of doing some teaching, some preaching, and you know, some, um, just some ministry, and then you kind of bang out and you're gone, you know, and then the relationships really weren't there. You know, it was such a transactional thing, and I know that's how mission trips are, are set up and how they're meant to be. Um, but I just didn't really, uh, you know, it didn't ring true, didn't resonate with me. Anyways, I was sitting in class about a month later, and I don't remember what this gal teacher was teaching on specifically, but she was um, describing an analogy, um, an, an issue that she had felt was prevalent in, in the traditional churches, um, and she wasn't teaching about anything different than traditional churches, but she was talking about how a lot of churches just want to pool people together, uh, uh, you know, they get into the church, come on, hurry up and get in here, and then once, we, once you get into our particular church, then we've got you in the sense that we're just trying to amass numbers, increase the size of the church, uh, uh, try and uh, raise the numbers and raise the revenue and stuff. And what we really should be doing as a church, and again, she was speaking from the traditional church, the institutional church perspective, even in those settings that we should be getting people in, um, having them grow, being discipled, discipled and uh, uh, living a, more, uh, a life more reflective of Jesus and then getting them out and then pushing them out. Um, so they can go do their thing, which sounds contrary to a lot of the ways that uh, Church is done these days. Usually we just try and get them in and then keep them there And then you know, I've been a member of this church for 30 years and you know I just kind of su support the needs of the pastor and so forth uh, Not that there's anything necessarily wrong with that But uh, there is something to be said about uh, having some flow some genuine flow uh, That where people come in and then they're they're trained up and released to go out and do the ministries and do the work and to the uh, things that God's called them to and um, what instead uh, she said happens is when you have this uh, a big pool of people where people come in and they stay there, uh, it becomes stagnant and just like a pond or a bog or a marsh or you know a swamp, the water flows in and that's why it turns into a swamp because there's no flow, there's no healthy uh, flow going out. Uh, things keep pouring into you from the top down, the pastor, the pulpit in, but nothing is going out. And the, uh, you're consuming and you're eating and you're feeding and you're chewing, but then you're not, uh, you know, uh, feeding the next person. So that was kind of the idea behind this analogy she gave, and that's why we need to have a healthy flowage. And when she started speaking on that, man, I just had this download from the Lord of like, man, this is the idea that uh, God had uh, in uh, giving um, his spirit to us, uh, you know, as John uh, 7, 38 and 39 says that uh, he who believes in me will have just a river of living water. And a, a river is just, I, I just see that pouring out um, and, and being expressed, um, not just poured into us from leadership, but it, whoever believes in us and believes in Jesus, it would be poured out. It will be just gushing forth out of you, out of the believer. Um, and then I like verse 39 there, I think, I think it's 39, it says that, and he spoke this about the spirit that had not yet been given. And so it's talking about that God puts a spirit on us, puts the presence of himself, um, um, which is reflectant of Jesus. It, it, it acts and thinks the same way Jesus does, and it's, it, it's his presence to be with us forever. And then that spirit becomes a, a, a river of living water, a river that's just flowing out to everybody else. Um, and that's what changed my whole perspective about, uh, you know, the Christian walk and ministry. And I was going to Bible school to, to uh, be, uh, you know, thinking I was going to be groomed as a uh, traveling minister, going to the different uh, ch churches and, and kind of sharing and preaching and teaching, you know, and uh, 
doing that whole thing. And, and, and after I had that, uh, I, I don't know, you could call it a revelation, uh, an aha moment. I call it a download. <laughs> I got this download, it seems like, from the Lord. And, and uh, that just changed my whole perspective. And uh, I just realized we need to have a healthy flow in our uh, assembly life when we come together as a church. And um, that's what was the big thing that got me uh, turned on to a new direction. Um, and rather than pursuing uh, something in the traditional church, which seems to follow that model of just getting people together and, and kind of holding on to that and, and, and uh, not releasing people onto what they are called to do, uh, it got me turned on to uh, something that I call radical house church and um, really decentralizing the leadership that happens in uh, the traditional sense and just empowering people to let the life of the Lord flow um, from within them as he's put it in us through his spirit. So that's kind of an idea of what the flowage is. And uh, uh, in addition to being a, a really strong uh, house church uh, supporter and, and I like to uh, kind of share and encourage people in that, I have a lot of different doctrinal things that I, uh, I really see are valuable in how we see the Lord, how we see him um, acting in us and how he acts in the world and a little per different perspective on that. So I like to include a lot of those uh, ideas on my blog site as well and explore topics like sovereignty, healing, you know, the relationship between, you know, the, the kingdom of darkness, devil, and Satan, and, and how that really works out in our lives um, and how God's uh, influence and, uh, you know, uh, control direction uh, affects that. Um, so I just, I have a myriad of topics. So uh, anyways, that's the flow of John Benny Rose and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll see more of you and I'll see more of you.